guys, welcome to or back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because it's going to be a room transformation slash room makeover video. I've been wanting to redo my room for literally the longest time. I've had the same furniture for probably like seven years and I just feel like my style is completely different from my room. So I'll put up some of the inspiration photos that I found on Pinterest for my room. I'm basically going for a very clean and minimalistic aesthetic, I guess. I'm going for a lot of white furniture, white accents, and then also just like a lot of plants and neutrals. And before before we get started with the actual room transformation, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the before videos of my room. So the last time I redid my room, I went for like a pink and gold theme and then my furniture has been the same for a really long time like I mentioned and it's kind of just like a really dark almost mahogany color. So some of the smaller decorations in my room I will be keeping just to keep the budget to a minimum but a lot of the main pieces like the bed, the desk, and the dresser are all going to be changed. So today is the shopping day. My mom and I are mainly going to Ikea, but I think we're also going to stop at HomeSense, this place called Jisk or Yisk, and then also a thrift store. The main furniture and stuff I'm getting from Ikea. The dresser I want is sold out, so I think we're going to have to go on a different day, but I'm going to try and get most of the smaller decorations and like the wall shelves and maybe the nightstand today. So our first stop was Ikea. I had a whole list of every furniture item and decoration that I wanted to buy there because I had been planning for this room makeover for a very long time to say the least. But I just had a lot of fun going through Ikea and looking at all the plants and decorations. But yeah, it ended up being a very successful trip because they had all of the decorations and furniture items that I wanted, even my dresser, which it said it was out of stock online, but then I randomly checked the bin and they had one left. So I guess that was just really lucky. And then we also ended up trying out the veggie dogs and they were super good, so I definitely recommend those. At the next store that we went to, I ended up just getting one thing, which was the wall shelf that I needed for above my bed. Then we ended up going to a thrift store where I found a cute little trinket dish along with some frames, so that was very successful. And then the last thing that I needed was a full length mirror, so we went to HomeSense and I found two that were really cute, so I just chose between those. So I thought I would do a little home decor haul showing you guys everything that we got a couple of days ago when we went shopping. So from Ikea, I got this plant. I'm pretty sure this is a golden pothos. And then I also got this cute little pot for it. I got this fake like hanging dangly plant. I also got this fake plant. I got the cutest little mushroom lamp. This is what it will look like out of the box. I also got this wood plant stand for this plant right here, which I also got from Ikea. Also got this fake eucalyptus, a cute little watering can, two of these glass vases which were like 99 cents. A couple of these wicker plant pots. I also got this little like wicker basket set. I got one of these just white block candles. Two of these candles that are just in these glass jars. Another candle in a glass jar and this one has a cute little lid. I got this really small glass tea light holder. Some random light bulbs for the mushroom lamp. This little cream colored throw blanket. I also got this seat cushion for the new desk chair that I bought. And then from HomeSense, I got this really cute throw pillow. And then I got two things from from the thrift store I got these little set of frames which are originally from Ikea and I also got this little dish from the thrift store it's originally from Italy so that is all of the like smaller home decor pieces that I got I did get like a mirror a dresser a chair a nightstand and all that good stuff but I'll show you guys that when we do the actual transformation it is the second day of this room makeover, I guess. The second day of like actually moving stuff out of my room. So we made a little bit of progress last night, but today's gonna be the main day where I like take all the furniture out of my room and build the new furniture. Last night we took my desk out of here. So this space is all empty now, but my room is basically a complete disaster. I have so much stuff just all over the floors. All my clothes is over here. So my plan for right now is to take basically everything that's on the floor or on the surfaces out of my room. And then I'm also also going to be taking apart my bed. So like I mentioned, the first step was just to basically clean out my entire room, taking everything off of like my desk, my dresser, my nightstand, and all of the things that had just accumulated on the floor, like all of the decorations and stuff. I really just wanted to start with a blank slate instead of like having things in my room while I was decorating because I thought it would just be easier that way. So this was definitely a long and like kind of tedious process because I had to move everything to different rooms of my house, but I think it was totally worth it and it really helped in the end. Oh my God. 
So after I finally got my mattress off of my bed, I enlisted my dad to help me take apart my bed and also move out the heavier furniture items that I couldn't carry by myself. So we did that and then I also had a bunch of holes in the walls from nails so I ended up patching and painting over those which took a long time because there was a lot of drying but once again it was definitely worth it. And then my room was completely empty so I just vacuumed because my bed has been in that spot for like five years so I definitely needed to clean under there. So it's a lot later now, it's already like 5.30, which is crazy because this day has just gone by so fast and I feel like I haven't really done anything. I'll give you guys a little overview clip of what my room is looking like right now, but as you can see, there's like basically nothing in here except my mattress on my box spring. But it is finally time to get some actual furniture in here, so I think I'm gonna start by building the dresser and then move on to the smaller things. Building the dresser was definitely my first priority out of all of the furniture because all of my clothes had just been sitting in my dad's office, so I definitely needed to get them back into my room. Building the dresser didn't end up being too difficult. Most of the IKEA instructions are pretty straightforward, I find, so I just watched some Gilmore Girls to pass the time. After I had the dresser built, the next day I brought in all of the other furniture items and most of them we actually had in the house already like the desk and the bookshelf because I had this little sewing area downstairs but I liked that furniture better than the furniture in my room so I thought I would get better use of it in my room. So we just brought all of that up from the basement and then I also moved my dresser into place and started building all of the other furniture like the chair and the nightstand. Looking down on the side. now the second day of like the actual room makeover and like building furniture process so i have most of the furniture in here now we've moved everything in i still have to screw my dresser to the wall and then put the drawers in and then i'm also going to be hanging a shelf on this wall so those are the only like construction things left i guess and then it's just decorating which i'm most excited for Love it so After we finally had all of the construction projects done, the last final step was to actually decorate the space. This was by far my favorite part of the entire process. I just had a lot of fun organizing all the decorations and making them look pretty. And I tried to use a combination of new and old decorations. So I of course used all of the new things that I had purchased at Ikea, but I also tried to make use of some old succulents, picture frames, and other things that I had in my old room just to keep the budget to a minimum and also reuse some things that I already had. I also ended up using books as a common decoration in my room wherever I needed to fill up some space so I not only put them on my bookshelf but also on my nightstand, on the shelf above my bed, and also on my desk. After I had most of the decorations in place, I kind of noticed that my walls were a little bare because I had nothing other than the shelf on them. So I ended up putting up little postcards and these little wall collages to just kind of fill in space. It was also very inexpensive because a lot of the postcards and stuff I already had sitting around and these little wall collages were only like $3 a piece. So I think that that was just a really great way to add something to the wall. So just to refresh your mind, I thought I would show you guys some of the before clips. This is what my room looked like before the process, and here's what it looks like now.
Here's a little overview of my room. It's what you see as soon as you walk in the door. I guess the first main area is my little desk area, which I situated under the window just so I'm not always like staring at a wall whenever I'm doing work. So I put this little trash can beside my desk. This is actually from downstairs. I just took it out of the basement. I think it's from the dollar store though. And it's kind of just silver just your like typical waste basket. The desk is from Ikea, but once again, I stole it from the basement. It actually used to be used in like this little sewing area that I had, but I did buy this chair. This is called the Ingolf chair, I think. It is just like a white dining chair, but I did put a little seat cushion on it just to make it a little bit more comfortable whenever I'm editing or anything like that. This first area is basically just a bunch of books and a little plant. I kept a lot of the books turned around like this just so that the like bright covers don't clash with the rest of my room but I did keep the Song of Achilles and Normal People turned around because they are my favorite books at the moment and then on this side I just have a couple of my journals and also a little poetry book and then on top of these books I just have this little dish which holds um, my airpods some other headphones and then also some hair clips that I used to get ready with so beside the books I have the first of many plants in my room this is called a golden pothos I'm pretty sure and then I just have it sitting in this like gray colored pot and then beside this pothos I have another plant and this is the tiniest little succulent ever. I'm trying to propagate it, so hopefully it survives. But yeah, I just keep that by the window. And then this other corner of my desk is like my little getting ready area, I guess. So this has pretty much stayed the same from my last room, but I just have this little gold basket from the dollar store with most of my like everyday used skincare products. And then I have my makeup mirror, which usually lights up, but I don't have it connected to any power source because it's kind of like on a weird wall. But yeah, I just have been using it as a normal mirror right now and then I really like this desk because it has a fair bit of storage these are all pretty messy right now but I keep my makeup products in the first one and then a lot of these just have like your typical pens and pencils so that is pretty much everything on this little area I do have these curtains which are from HomeSense I had them in here with my last room so I just kept them the same I also am propagating some more succulents so that is why there's like three terracotta plants there but yeah that is pretty much it for that area so now let's move on to my dresser this dresser once again is from ikea like most of the other things in my room this little placemat i put here it's kind of like a brown crocheted pattern i guess i just thought it would give a little bit of contrast to the white because there is a lot of white in my room and then on top of it this is one of my favorite things in this entire room which is funny because i just found it in my house randomly the other day but it is this blue and white porcelain little plate i just use it to store a bunch of my jewelry that i wear mostly on an everyday basis and then i also have a old perfume bottle i actually don't use this perfume but i thought the bottle was cute and would add a little something to this area and then beside that i just have one of many glass faces in my room and I have some fake eucalyptus in here and then this other side of my dresser is more little decor pieces I have a glass candle which is from Ikea and then this little wicker basket and then I have this shell vase which I think is adorable this is from Jisk or JYSK I do want to try and find some dried flowers to put in here but for now I just filled it with some eucalyptus and then above that I have this frame which I made as kind of like a DIY the last time I decorated my room but it just has some chicken wire stapled onto the back of it and I use it kind of just to display some photos and then off to the side of my dresser I have an ugly little extension cord so don't look at that but I have um, a little laundry hamper which actually has a bunch of old stuffed animals in it that I'm too sentimental to part with so I just keep that there and then on the side of my dresser I have my old jewelry holder so that is pretty much it for this little dresser slash desk area of my room now we're going to move on to my bookshelf so I kind of made this like a little music area I guess because I have my record player here and also my ukulele and then this bookshelf is from Ikea again but yeah I guess I'll show you guys what's in the little cubes I have this little succulent which is from HomeSense and this frame which is also from HomeSense I haven't switched out the picture yet so I just kind of left that there and then in this cube I have all of my hardcover books which once again I turned around the covers this one down here has the other two wicker baskets they all came in like a set and then I have a little 
little mini succulent. I made sure that most of the plants in this area were fake just because it doesn't get a lot of light. And then this last cube, I just have all of my records. And then on top, I really, really love this area. I think it's so cute. I have my record player and this is just like the Crossley Cruisers, but I really, really love this pattern and the color and everything about it. So on this corner, I just put this little vase, which is actually from Target and it has some fake flowers in it. And then I have a block candle from Ikea. I was trying to go for like some different height variants. And then just this miniature tea light holder, which is glass and it's really cute. So that is that little corner. And then on this side, I just have another fake plant and this cute little wicker basket. And then above here, I ended up just putting this mini collage. These are just like little postcard pack things that I got on AliExpress. So I have this little poster, which is of Greece, and then a Picasso painting and some little flowers. And then beside that, I have my full length mirror. I got this at HomeSense and I really love it. It is just like a wood framed mirror. I never had a full length mirror in my room before but now I have one of my own and I find myself using it quite a bit and I just think it's really cute and opens up the room. And then I also have this little like plant watering station, I guess. We had this stool sitting around my house for a good couple of years. It actually matches the desk chair pretty perfectly. I thought I would use it in my room because this little corner was looking a little blank. So I just have um, my ivy plant on it. And then I have another succulent and just some saucers for the succulent propagations because when I water them, sometimes the water goes everywhere. So I put them on these little saucers. And then I have the most adorable little watering can which is from Ikea. So yeah that is the second area of my room all complete. I really love it. I think it turned out really cute. I especially love the mirror. It's very practical. I guess I should also mention this little rug here. It's just this fake little sheepskin rug. And then this last portion of my room with my bed is definitely my favorite by far. I don't really have a bed frame. I just ended up keeping my box spring from my previous bed and I put it straight onto the floor with my mattress on top. So yeah, that ended up working out really well and it was very cost efficient. My comforter is from Target. It's just like this white ruffly comforter, which I've had for literally ever. Um, they probably don't sell it anymore. I like that it's just simple and plain. On the end of my bed, I ended up getting this really cheap like $10 blanket and I kind of just threw it over the edge of my bed to add some more dimension. And then this little throw pillow, which I think is so cute. It's kind of like a geometric Aztec-ish print. I got this from HomeSense for like 20 bucks. So I think that was totally worth it. And yeah, that is kind of the only pillow I have on there. I just wanted to keep it pretty minimalistic. And then I guess we'll do this side of my bed first. I just have this plant, which I'm pretty sure is called a dragon tree. And I put it on this little plant stand just to raise it up a bit because it was kind of short. So I guess we'll move on to the other side of my bed. The first thing here is this wall collage. So these wall collages are from AliExpress, like I mentioned earlier. And I initially had this wall blank, but it's a really big wall. So it definitely needed something. I just thought this wall collage did the trick for now. And then in this corner of my room, I have my little nightstand. This nightstand is just really simple. It just has like some natural wood color and glass. Also, please ignore all the cords back here. But yeah, on this little bottom shelf, I have all of my classic books. And then on the top of my nightstand, I have the cutest little mushroom lamp that I have literally ever seen. And it's also pretty bright, as you can see here. So I'm going to turn it off because it's a little bit distracting. Um, but over here, I have this little doily, which I just stole from my house. I'm not really sure where it's from. I'm also meaning to get a little like rattan coaster, which I'll show you guys a picture of on the screen. But it has hasn't come in yet because it's coming from AliExpress so the shipping's taking a while but for now I just have another one of these candles from Ikea and the same glass vase with some more eucalyptus. I felt like this wall was kind of missing something so I ended up adding a couple of little decorations. This little postcard painting is from Italy. My friend got it for me when she went on vacation there and I just think it's really really pretty so I hung that up here and then I just added another thing from the wall collage. But yeah that is pretty much it for my little nightstand. So I guess the last thing to show you guys is the shelf above my bed. I have it decorated with a fake succulent, 
another little candle, which I love this one because it has this cute lid. And then I just have a bunch of books. These are all books that I've read and I don't really reach for them. So I kind of just put them up here once again with the covers turned around because I don't know, I just think it looks good. And I think it's kind of cool how all the paper is different colors. But yeah, so I just have some books there. I have another one of these fake succulents. And then I have this frame that we got for like $1.99 at the thrift store. And then I really loved this William Morris print. I think I saw it on Pinterest. So I ended up printing that off and putting it in there. And then the last thing on the shelf is another plant. This one is fake also just because I didn't know if this area would get that much light, but it kind of looks like a pothos also. And then the pot that it's in is just so cute. It's this little like rattan pot, I guess. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my room. This is definitely, like I said, my favorite part. I just think it turned out so cute. So that pretty much concludes this whole room makeover slash tour video. It was just a really enjoyable process and I'm obsessed with the way my room turned out. It's better than I ever imagined. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end because it's definitely a very long video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the process as much as I did. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for another video.